So I want you to know that best friend, because he not only saves you, but the Bible said he seals you. He saves you and he seals you. It is vitally important to understand what it means to be sealed by the Holy Spirit. Because when you are sealed by the Holy Spirit and you understand that sealing, you're going to stand firm. Let me show you what Paul said in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 21 and 22. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 21 and 22. Here's what Paul said. It is God who makes us stand firm in Christ. Well, how? How does he do that? He said, by anointing us. What does this anointing mean? Paul said that you have been anointed so that you can stand firm. The world is going to hell in a handbasket. You're standing firm. They say, fear all over the place. You're standing firm. Why? Because you have the anointing. It's not you're going to get it or try to grab it from somewhere <laughs> or buy it. No, no, no. You've got it. What does anointing mean? It means being set aside. Anointing means that you are being given a unique place. Anointing means that you are not living in the humdrum of life like the rest of the population. But because being anointed means that you stand out of the crowd. And that's your greatest testimony. Paul says this anointing of God, this being set aside by God, this being chosen and elected by God is for all the believers. How does God do that? Well, it tells you verse 22, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, by stamping his seal of ownership on every believer. How? By giving us the Holy Spirit to dwell within us, to be, come alongside of us, to talk to us, to minister to us, to speak to us, to convict us. In fact, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 30, which I used in the very first message in this series, the Apostle Paul said, do not grieve the Holy Spirit. And we saw in that message what it means not to grieve the Holy Spirit. How in the world, why would we want to grieve the best friend, the most gracious friend that we could ever have? But many believers, I submit to you, are grieving the Holy Spirit and living their life while he is in a corner somewhere in their life sitting and grieving. 